Hello, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. And this is the first in a group of videos covering a really big concept in music theory, and usually the first concept that a lot of students struggle with, and that's the concept of intervals. Intervals are the distances between two pitches in music, and there are two aspects to intervals. There's a size, and there's a quality. That's a weird cue. <laughs> uh, size and quality. So the size of a interval, an interval, is a number. So for example, I'm going to give these two notes as an example. And we do need to know these pitches because um, it's important when dealing with intervals that you know exactly what pitches you're dealing with. So we have an A and a C here in treble clef, and specifically an A4 and a C5. The size of the interval between these two is three notes. We're going to cover that in a later video. I'm just sort of giving the overview of what this is here. The quality of this interval is minor. So we use a lowercase letter m. Now there's something that I do with my students that I learned from my music theory professor for this little m, and I'll cover this in some later videos too. Just to be absolutely sure that that's a lowercase m, we put a little line over it because we will have uppercase and lowercase. For example, if I do this and make an A to a C sharp, this is still a distance of three as a size, but the quality is now major. Now, I will cover how to determine this in the future, but there's one big point that I want to make in this video other than what an interval actually is. And that is this. Let me clear some space so I can write it down because this is so important that we need to see it in the written word. Always determine the size of the interval first. Always determine size first. This is very, 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 very important. And it's a huge mistake that a lot of students make, especially when first getting into intervals. The size is actually quite easy to determine. And then once you determine it, you, you keep it there. <laughs> Don't do anything with it. And we will cover how to determine that size. It's really quite easy. But all that I wanted to cover in this video was the concept of intervals, which is the, the distance between two pitches, which consists of a size and a quality. And when figuring out an interval, always determine the size first and then don't change it. All right, we'll cover that in later videos. Thank you.